Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mikey Pipes, and you know who got sitting next to me? Godzilla, aka Steven. And I got something special for you guys today. This morning, let's see, it's 7.25 a.m. This morning, we are headed to an oil to gas conversion. This is gonna be a nice, sweet job, two zones. And we're also doing a direct replacement of the 50 gallon water heater. And we have a kind of sponsor for this video. So stay tuned. And also we'll fill you on some details about Kelvin. A few of you guys have asked in the comments, yo, where's Kelvin? So we'll talk about Kelvin as well. Stay tuned. And if you're a 24 percenter, thank you for the support to the channel. If you're not a subscriber, become a 24 percenter by subscribing to this channel to show support. And uh, we'll be good to go. All right, stay tuned. Good morning. Okay. How's it going? How you been? Oh, well, you did that for us too. Wow, very kind of you. And you're a subscriber too, aren't you? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, I forgot that. Let's unlock this door. <laughs> you know, I'm doing a boiler on uh, I'm doing a boiler on uh, Tuesday next week. The guy is literally like a half a mile from our shop. Yeah. Oh, I have to check the oil. How much oil have left in this thing? Hopefully not a lot. Gotta refill it. Okay. So between empty and a quarter. Yeah, so we're doing one uh, next week. Guys, like half, down, uh, half, uh, half a mile away from our shop, literally down the block. Right. And uh, we've got an old steam boiler. And he goes, yeah, I, I, I saw your videos on YouTube. I'm yeah. like, wow, it's cool. Like, you're the second one. Yeah. And you're, I remember you're the first one. I thought it was another guy, uh, not you, but. That's right, you found me on YouTube. It's working, yeah. And I, uh, I, I don't know if you're on RBC Network or if you can see it, but, uh, oh, you know, groups? just constantly people ask me. So I said, I was talking to oh, somebody thank you. about You know, I got a great referral program. program. Yeah. You know, if, if they mention your name, I'll send you a $50 Amazon gift card. Cool. Yeah, you know? I'm just happy to give the work. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, All right, that's right, two zones, three quarter. Got the split zone there. Okay. Uh, anything, I know you have to do thermostats upstairs, uh, but anything else like within the rooms with the rag? Alright, so full disclosure guys. Several, several of you have asked, where's Kelvin? And let me give you an update on Kelvin. By the way, it's 8.07. The boiler's fully disconnected and drained. Draining down the 40 gallon water heater. We're changing that too. But anyway, Thursday night, last week, Kelvin gives me a call. And he usually doesn't call me after hours. So I know if he's calling me, something's up. Maybe he got hurt, maybe he's sick. Maybe he got China. Shame on you, China. Calls me up and goes, Mike, first I want to thank you. I learned so much from you. I'm like, oh, what are you telling me, Kelvin? <laughs> and he goes, man, I just, I feel bad. And I'm like, tell me, spit it out, Kelvin. And he goes, I got the call from my general. And they're making me, put me back into active duty. And I'm like, all right, when? They're like, tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. I'm like, oh, man, you're gone again? I'm like, tell Cuomo No. Cuomo, no, I'm not going. I have a job and I'm learning. So Kelvin is in the uh, New York State National Guard. And, you know, my long-term subscribers, if you know, you know, Kelvin was with me in uh, 2019 and around the middle of March of 2020, they called him in for active duty to help protect, you know, uh, New York State. And they came back uh, during the summer. I think it was July or August. And he was a little dumb for a while, but he's been catching on, finally learning again. But last week, they took him, they took him from me again. Despicable. Despicable. Anyway, we got a little bit of a mess here to clean up. But uh, we're changing out the water heater, putting in a Burnham ES25. And um, Promotional consideration provided by Webstone today, a Nipco company. They supplied, they supplied our isolation flanges. 
So you'll see that. That's drained. You'll see that in a little bit when we start putting this bad boy together. We're gonna get all these two out of here and then uh, start piping this bad boy in. Stay tuned. All right, let's see. 8.45, getting it done. So let's talk about Webstone, a Nipco company for a second. I've been using their products for many years, probably for about eight, nine years already, before they were bought by Nipco. And here I have an inch and a quarter by three quarter two zone manifold. And as you guys know, I put my circulators on the supply side because we're pumping away. This right here is their three quarter female by rotating flange. There it is, there's your part number, H41403. Comes at one, come in a box. And we're gonna get that on there like that. And what's great about this isolation flange is that I can isolate the zone below the circulator. And if you know, if you're gonna see coming up next, I'm gonna put my circulator here and I'm gonna have an isolation flange with purge above that. Different part number, but let me put both of these on and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so there's my Webstone three quarter isolation flange for below the circulator. It comes with the included bolts, by the way. And on top of my Tako 0015E three speed ECM circulator, I have the Webstone three quarter press by rotating flange. And that part number is H8143 HV, which is high velocity and quantity one. So that's gonna go right up there. And I'll figure out how I'm gonna put the, the drain. I'm probably wanna keep it off to the side like that only because I don't want the water to, you know, when I'm purging or whatever and a little bit of drips, I don't want a little drips on the electrical outlet compartment. So I'm probably gonna put the circulator right there like that. And this is great, very great, exceptionally great because I'm eliminating three components, the flange itself, the nipple, the T, actually more, the, the valve, right? another nipple, another T with the boiler drain, and then another fitting, like a male adapter, to connect to my copper piping. So this great little investment saves six potential leaks and saves tremendous amount of time by not having to put it together. Exceptional. And if you guys know, and my long-term subscribers know, that I don't, I, I don't skimp. I spare no expense on my boiler installs and well worth the money. And I get them from supplyhouse.com. Real people, real service, not sponsoring or endorsing this channel. All right. So some of you knuckleheads have been complaining that you don't, you're not seeing me ream the pipe. Right? Isn't that right, Mike? Steven, you read the comments too. Yeah. Right? So I got something for you guys. Bow. It does the inside. And it does the outside. Haha. Uh -huh. I just took it out of my pocket. And I'm going to show you guys how to ring it for all you uh, knuckleheads out there. So there's the pipe. And... Voila. And you know what? Just for shits and giggles, I'll even do the inside too. And the outside. See? Done. Yeah. Knuckleheads. All right, Steven is finishing up the installation of the water heater. Damn you, A.O. Smith, hot tapping. It's a little crooked. All of the boiler piping is done. I just gotta add in the uh, boiler feed from there to right there. And we got a wire. And Mikey is finishing up the uh, exhaust piping. Have it. Time for a little smoke break. What's that? We have to put something in the truck. Don't we have to pick up all hot dogs? Yeah, but we're gonna get rid of this uh -huh. on the way to Johnstone, picking up the hot dog for tomorrow's job. It'll be out. Yeah, we'll dump this on the way to Johnstone. All right, I just want to know who's garbage. I'll take. We'll take it the garbage. It doesn't matter. Yeah. All right, guys. So yeah, full disclosure. 10:37 a.m. 
system is pressurized, as you could see. And I just want to quickly go over the wiring because uh, some of you have some of you had asked on previous videos. So I'm not a licensed electrician. I'm not going to claim that I am. I'm a licensed master plumber, though. But there is a my Taiko SR503 switching relay. I stocked single zone, three zone, and six zone switching relays on my truck. So if I need a two, I'm taking the three. If I need a one, I have the one. If I need a six or a five, I'm taking the, the, the six. So in this old boiler was gas fired, I'm sorry, oil fired boiler, and it was set to maintain. So it was always on. And we had two zones of circulators with line voltage thermostats. Now, this line right here, that is coming from my power. And in this case, it's coming from the switch. Keep going. Right there on top of the stairs. All right. And then it goes to here. Switch gets power from our breaker, comes along here, and it ends right here. Okay, right there. So there's my neutral, this is my power. Now I'm taking this BX here, and I'm gonna, once I finish the wiring there, right there, and wire up to there, I'll put a switch here, and you'll see that soon. This zone right here got power from here, and when the line voltage thermostat turned on, it turned on, it sent power to the circulator, which was there. This right here goes to my other line voltage thermostat tied into here as well. So now this is going to be my 24 volt wiring to my new thermostats. So series 80 white Rogers. So this will be, you know, RH and W and then we'll make one of these RH and W. And then we'll run thermostat wire from here to there. So right now I got power coming into my boiler there leaving is going to power my relay so i got my connector on there i'm going to wire up to the input 110 volts and then i'm going to wire up the circulators stay tuned all right let's review real quick here is zone one neutral hot here is zone two neutral hot i have a wire which is end switch that goes to tt on the control board and I have zone one wiring and zone two wiring. And those go all the way around to there and there. And we put in two new thermostats. Purging out both zones. The time now is, would we light the water heater? No. The time now is, drum roll. Steven, can I get a drum roll? Here we go. 11.33. Bam. We're done. Bow. Oh, you said one. I did say one. One o'clock, time we'll be home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there she is. We're done cleaning up. Well, we're just about done cleaning up. And the job is not done until... Watch this, guys, wait for it. go <laughs> yeah you know what I'm talking about sorry Mike oh I'm gonna hit the downstairs cleaning up just about done ah uh, and it is 11 45 yeah I just want to show you something I got my uh I got my shit pushed back look at that by a tree had bad luck. Honestly, Mike got his shit pushed back too. Look at this. You guys are gonna be like, oh shit, you got his shit pushed back. Watch this, wait for it. Bow! Hit a tree too. <laughs> oh. the, joys of, the joys of being a boss. It is what it is. That's gonna be a Geico claim. <laughs> That's what commercial auto is for. I'm paying all that filthy money. Might as well make them Shell out some cash and do a claim. All right. Let's take a final peek. Look at 
got our combustion analysis done. All we need to do now, what was Kelvin's job, is valve tax. We need one on the boiler feed valve, gas for the boiler, which is right there, water heater feed valve, gas for the water heater, and the main water valve over there. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, promotional consideration provided by Webstone, by the way. If you haven't used these before, check out the Webstone, a Nipco, Nipco company, as you can see right there. These are the circulator isolation flanges. This comes with a purge station built in. This is just IPS isolation. Don't need purge on both sides. All right, so if I ever gotta change this circulator, thanks to Webstone, close this valve, close this valve, get a little towel there, it'll have a little bit of water, take out the circulator, replace it, easy peasy. So a huge shout out to my uh, friends at Webstone for uh, promotionally sending us these valves. And of course, here they are. Save time, save money, buy Webstone. I buy mine at supplyhouse.com. Real people, real service. It's not an endorsement, not a recommendation, and they're definitely not sponsoring us. There you go. You guys know I engage in all the comments at, at the end of the day and throughout the day. I'm always responding to comments. That's what I do. And I would appreciate if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Isn't that right, Godzilla? And if you don't listen to Godzilla and subscribe, I'm gonna have him come over to you and show you open a can of whoop ass. All right, because he's Godzilla. Manhandling boilers.